And so off the tip, it's New York. And here is Ball. He takes it in. And Ball slams it in. And I just love the aggressiveness from Ball. When he's driving to the hoop, he's ready to attack the rim at will. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Here's Los Angeles now. Irving looking over the floor. And it's off from three-point range. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius-level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. Isaac misses in close. And typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. George with the ball. Gay picks him up defensively. It's good from long range. To have a knockdown three-point shooter with George's size and skill gives Coach a lot of options on the offensive end. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Here's Paul. And that's great defense. What Kyrie lacks in size, he makes up for it with quickness, instinct, and basketball IQ. Thompson outside. Pass to Malone. And the jam by Carl Malone. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. Now, ball. And ball slams it in. Ball finishes with power. Not just going for the layup. Solid at throwing it down deep inside. Stolen by ball. Got a piece of it. Pass to George. Fires for three. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. George has got six. And this is the way to stretch the floor. PG-13 with a good look from the corner. And he nails it. Here's Ball. And Ball slams it in. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does. He really does put pressure on him. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. Spins. Ball. And Ball slams it in. Yeah, I just love seeing it. Ball put it on the deck, using those long strides to get all the way to the cup. 
Now here's Ball. He's got 10. Irving for three. They get it back. Look at look at the big fella working on that position. He knows how to fit guys off and get those rebounds. Here's Ball. Buries it from three-point range. Three points. 13 points in the game. And no doubt the release point is a bit unorthodox in terms of Ball's shooting technique. But man, can he slingshot it home from deep. Now here's Ball. He's got 13. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That'll be his second foul of the game. Isaac a screen. And Ball slams it in. And we're seeing Ball just take over. An efficient, effective scorer who feels comfortable shooting from anywhere. Now here's Irving. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. That's fine. You love the effort. Not making things easy for the opposition on offense. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. Forty-four seconds left here in the opening quarter. Picks it out to Malone. Holmgren with the steal. a screen. Now, here's Ball. 15 points in the game. Six on the shot clock. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Lillard, right side. But if it goes, then that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. It's been all about Lonzo Ball. The New York team. 15. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for New York. It's Morant with the drive. When Morant drives, he is just so difficult to stop. His agility, that's what makes beating the D look so easy. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdowns. Pass to game. Here's Ball, and he makes that one. Bulls got the lead up to five now for New York. There's just a feel that Ball plays with that, that really separates him from so many other players. He, he's superb at finding ways here to score in the paint. Hey, Craig, talking about the great John ja Morant, this guy is just flat out fun to watch. Well, Jaw's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others dropping some nasty dimes. Morant has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do anything. And here is Los Angeles now, following the score by New York. Morant, right side. Outside Odom. Odom a screen. Here's Jordan. It's hauled in by Michael Porter. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. To the inside. Outside for Corver. New York moving it around. Morant with a wide open look. And again, New York with the triple. Look, when you're as explosive as John, then the opponents are going to let you take shots from deep. Odom a screen. Jordan inside. It's tipped. And he's able to get it back. Shoots over Corver. 
Los Angeles with another miss. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid range. Morant with it. He's picked up by Morant. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Oh. And man, does Morant put on a show. <laughs> He's got such insane athleticism. Here's Morant. Five points in the game. Here's Perry. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. Okay, when you let someone with this height get this close, it's going to be nearly impossible to stop, especially when he has that big of an advantage in this category. Now, here's Morant. He lobs up the alley -oop pass, and it's out of bounds, and they say it was last touched by Leonard. Here is Porter, leading by five. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. And shots like this are why people are just so high on Porter. Has such a quick release on that jump. Now here's Morant. He has seven to the middle. Here's Randall. And the rejection by Jackson. The three from Morant. And again, New York with the triple. The consistency from range, that's something that Morant has worked on early, and it's made him unstoppable. And it's Jordan with the jam. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now here's Morant. Eight points for him. This is what you pay to see. Morant doing what he does, exploding right to the rim off the drive. Wow. Back to Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And with a good mix of power and agility, Leonard can throw it down with the best of them. And they double up Morant. And they recover it. Here's Jackson. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop. And it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, just forcing the issue offensively. The, the great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Randall with the bucket. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. Okay, I see you, Josh, flexing a little bit of muscle, showing off that athletic ability. Okay. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Los Angeles trails by 11. And on the way from Irving for three. Second shot opportunity. Malone. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. Left side, ball. Here's Holmgren. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Lock at six. Ingram deciding where to go with it. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Irving with it. And that 
that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, Kyrie really does have some of the best handles in the league, which is why he is so devastating in a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's something you got to watch out for. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Ball from deep three-point territory. Misses the deep three-point attempt. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court four in half-court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. Now, ball. After the miss three from Clay Thompson. Outside, George. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gain. And the defense knows George can score from there, which is what forces them to kind of compromise at times defensively. And for Siakam, great. He almost epitomizes the modern forward. And that's not to say he's the best forward, but he displays all the skills you now expect from that position. Solid player who any team would love to have. Lonzo. Ball fires from way outside. Connects from three-point range. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt GA. And they need more where that came from. They're not out of this hole yet. Here's Ball after the basket by Los Angeles. From deep. And again, New York with the triple. Quite simply, he is carrying this team, doing most of the work scoring lines. The shot's good from Irving. Kyrie has the ability to finish like very few players in NBA history, and he shows it right there. Isaac a screen. Oh, what a terrific move and basket. Ball's got 25 points. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Back to Irving. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And the slam dunk by Irving. Kyrie, you don't see it often, but that's a nice finish there from the little fella. Here's the screen. Here's Ingram. A shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Outside, George. And George with the stuff. Ooh, that's a clever pass there by Kyrie, getting the ball to the guy for the better look. Here's Willard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws. looking to protect the rim at all costs. For New York, they have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. Los Angeles calls timeout. Los Angeles calls timeout. And that one misses. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. That's to Malone. And the jam by Carl Malone. Yeah, you know, often we think of Dane as a score first, but... There, reminding us of his great ability to pass the rock. 
now. Here's Lillard. From deep three-point range, he doesn't hit that one. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Inside, Malone. And then Malone with the dunk. With all the attention Clay gets, it can lead to open looks for others. Nice decision. Here's Ingram. Brandon Ingram. And there's the drive. And slam dunk by Ingram. Oh, that's great TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. And it's Lillard missing. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. New York shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. First personal foul. Second team foul. That free throw, no good. And known for being a clutch performer, Dame has his sights set on tight. A, a true leader with a winning mindset. Normally he sinks all of his free throws, but defense got lucky there. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. It's been all about Lonzo Ball for New York. He ends up dropping in two from distance, making a difference from one. The New York team. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. New York with the ball. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Jackson. Randall grabs the board. And here's Morant. The kick out to Odom. Here's Jordan. Again, Los Angeles. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First team line. Shooting from New York. John Moran. Two shots. That's good from Morant. And we talk a lot about Morant's athleticism and skill, but what stands out for me is his effort and intensity that he plays with. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. They're ahead, but if they don't get a stop here, that free throw could prove critical. John Morant impressed as a rookie, but in 2022, he really started blowing the roof off. He's been doing some tremendous things. And how about a 52 point game in February that year? Only 12 of those points came from threes. That's a lot of fun. Outside for Jackson. Here's the three. And the three ball is good. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Porter looking it over. Banked in off the glass. And it's a four-point New York lead. Well, you know, Porter can expect this. Defenses are going to try to be physical with him, try to get in his head. Here's Perry. Out left of the wing. Pass to Porter. Second chance shot. And it's good on the way in. Porter's got four this quarter. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for New York. Jordan with it. Guarded by Korver. And they get it. A drive by Jordan. Yeah, the explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Jordan simply flying. Now Morant. Nice move. And he goes big with the tuck right over John Morant. And man, does Morant put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. And it's Jordan with the jam. Vital basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. 
And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Shot clock at six. Here's Ferry. And it's good. Two points. And New York leads by six. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stop to the stretch. Because that's who's going to come away with this one. Here's Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. And guys, that's the man you want with the ball in his hands on that critical possession. Kawhi being his best in the biggest moments. Grant. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one's on Morant. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And Los Angeles with some changes. Second one is good. They both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Perfectly done at the strike there. That brings their lead up to an even more comfortable level. Outside for George. Fires the three. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And guys, George takes pride in hitting big shots. Just getting the ball and let him do his thing. Outside, Corbett. Outside for Jackson. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. Here's Irving. And Irving throws it down. That is a huge shot from Kyrie Irving. That is a huge shot from Kyrie Irving. This is why his team turns to him in these moments. Trust me, I know. You just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Irving from long range. Money! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. They set the screen. Here's Porter. Yeah, this nigga did awesome. not just miss that dunk. Well, I'll give him an A for effort for trying to dunk through the defense, but maybe he should ease up on that one just a little bit. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And they still have a foul to give at this point. Aston Malone. Count it! He's just so good with the ball late in games. Malone gets it done. New York calls timeout. It's tied at 67. Eight seconds left to play in the final quarter. Substitution on the court. Now, here's ball. With the crossover. Money! And how about the confidence with which ball plays? I mean, he just seems so much more comfortable taking and making those big shots. This guy is a flat-out winner. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we've got more... These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. George looking around. Malone with the screen. To the paint. Shoots over Holmgren. Again, Los Angeles. New York with the ball. Trailing by two. Here's Ball. Pass to Holmgren. In the corner, it's Ingram. Stolen by George. Outside Irving. Stolen by Ball. Hey, 
launches it. Sinks the triple. Ball's got 30 points. And the ball is not going to back down in these moments. In fact, he embraces being the man when it's a big possession. Here's Ingram. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And New York leads by three. And after playing one year at Duke, Ingram is used to providing big baskets for his club, just dominating with ease in these moments. Irving can't get it to go. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for New York. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's George. And George with the stuff. And this is one of those nights where George came in aggressive and stayed that way. He's been incredible. Isaac a screen. It's up a three. And no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Siakam outside. The kick out to Irving. Gets the three to fall. Nobody better to have the ball right here. I think everybody remembers that Kyrie hit the biggest shot in NBA history. Outside ball. Driving in. It drops. A huge shot to tie it up. Is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. Has to Malone. Thompson outside. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Down low. Stolen by Ball. And now is it? Oh, what? It's the sequences like this that really give you pause and, and appreciate how special this young talent is. I mean, he's calm, has a great attitude in those huge moments, and how about that? Knocking down big shots. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by two. Nine seconds left to play in the first overtime. Is what's your take? And you need a foul here to try to extend the game. Best case is the inbound pass goes to a poor free throw shooter, but really they have to foul whoever it ends up with. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Right on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. At the line, ball is much improved. He could make them pay for that foul. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much does.